Okay, well, thank you everyone for coming back after lunch and not going shopping. I do have to disclose I get royalties from Elsevier for educational products. So where can you go wrong in the first trimester and how can you get into trouble? As always with radiology, you have to know your anatomy. You have to communicate clearly to the people ordering the study. And in certain circumstances in the first trimester, math becomes very important. One of the key things to make is a diagnosis of failed pregnancy, and there are rules and milestones for that. And of course, the thing none of us want to miss is the ectopic pregnancy, because even today, you can kill a healthy woman if you send her out to go hiking in the backcountry with an undiagnosed ectopic and her tube ruptures and she bleeds. I work in Salt Lake City, and the church teaches that you should choose the right thing. In the ultrasound world, that means choosing the right transducer, the machine package presets, the multi-hertz option on your transducer lets you go from nine megahertz down to four sometimes. You adjust your depth of field and you have to adjust your focal zone. So this is a poster I did some years ago and I'm not going to go through it in detail, but it is in the syllabus for you all to look at. And you'll see again, there are themes. There's normal anatomy, there's knowing pathology from normal anatomy, there's the scan technique, and there's recognizing which types of intercavitary fluid actually represent a pregnancy. So I'm gonna start out with a case example. And here's a transabdominal ultrasound, positive pregnancy test, pain and bleeding. This is the uterus, this is an IUD, and there's all of this stuff around the outside of the uterus. 